I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I have specialized in internal medicine about 20 years back. I practice uh, internal medicine among other specialties, uh, mainly diabetes, cardiology, nephrology, neurology, and various other infectious diseases. I am practicing in Stanford Hospital in Kaikondrahalli, Bangalore. There are many conditions uh, as listed in this question uh, saying there is chest pain, there is chest congestion, there is fatigue, there is breathing difficulty. Now mostly all these conditions put together, they point out towards more of a cardiac problem. But having said that, it is not necessary that these are a very common conglomeration of signs and symptoms happening in a cardiac problem. If you talk about more specifically on a younger age where there are less cardiac problems or relatively less, less cardiac problems, then I would say that even a person who is like doing physical exertion, they will still have chest pain. It can be muscular pain. It can be chest pain and because of exertion, it can be fatigue. At the same time, if a person is running marathon and a person is not used to running so much, you can have probably a breathing difficulty also but not necessarily chest congestion. So the only symptom here which actually singles out a disease or a no disease status of a person is chest congestion. Chest congestion is more serious. Chest pain can be cardiac or non-cardiac. Breathing difficulty can be lungs, chest or heart or it can be just because the person is physically exerted. Tiredness is a very, very general condition which anybody can face today. But the chest congestion is actually something which looks at more serious problems when you combine it with chest pain and breathing difficulty. More or less, uh, it comes from heart failure. And heart failure is not heart attack, as you know. I'm trying to differentiate the two. It's a pump failure which goes over a period of time. Such patients are mostly not in a very young age group, they are middle-aged and elderly group of patients and they need immediate care. They may be on care, they may be on treatment, but they need extra care or they may need immediate hospital attention at the same time. A lot of people who have cough with all these conditions may point out to more of a lung problem. There may be chest infection, not necessarily causing uh, cough but it may cause chest pain, it may cause breathing difficulty, it may cause fatigue. So the chest conditions are very varied, there are multiple of them, multifactorial but the more serious conditions which need attention will be more of a chest infection or you can say a heart failure or a pump failure. Then also we should not exclude a myocardial infarction or a heart attack. So. It is a condition which has to be diagnosed in a hospital setting by ECG or by chest x-ray or by a physician who is examining the patient who can find out how these conditions can be put together and what is the diagnosis at that moment in time.